Hey guys, welcome to the first ever edition of Brothers Books and Bookings. And a quick shout out to our good friends at Echo Stone, uh, the band. They gave us this uh, lyric, or actually the music that we used on our new intro that you caught just before this video. Uh, we're going to have a link to them down in the description of this. Go check them out. They're a super great band. I think they've got three to four songs out now. They're unsigned, but they're working hard and they are rockers so go check them out great band we got to see them live at the Fayetteville Comet concert um, back in February yeah. no yeah. April April back in April. April it was a great show and they really rocked it out April yeah yeah so uh, yeah so we're going to start a new thing uh, weekly it's going to be called the Brothers Books and Bookings and what we're going to do is talk about some books and uh, tell you where we're booked for the next couple of weeks where you can come find us and uh, see us and see all these cool things. So let's hop, Josh, let's hop right into it. Yep. Uh, the biggest news of the week and in comics right now is got to do with the fact that Image Comics has acquired the rights, I believe I'm right, to yes. do Transformers and G.I. Joe. So that's a really cool thing. And uh, there's a lot of great names attached to it. Yeah, they, they, they kept it kind of quiet for a while, Chris, and the book we're talking about today, Void Rivals, has been out in the open being talked about, and it's written by Robert Kirkman, you know, one of my favorite writers. I'm reading Firepower that he does, which is getting ready to come back from a hiatus coming yeah. up. I'm excited for that. But it was kept secret because they couldn't announce the fact that they were getting Transformers and G.I. Joe until after, like right before the book was coming out. Yeah, and, yeah. And when the preview for the book came out, nobody could get it. Right, right. It was kind of kept really quiet, and uh, there's a lot of Transformers news going around right now with the Rise of the Beast coming out, and now we've got Image has got the rights to this, so uh, we're super excited that this is happening, and so we picked up Void Rivals, and we both read it this yes. week. Um, our good friends at... Uh, ultimate comics uh where we were able to get a copy of it from them so uh josh and i both got a copy i sat down and read it last night and uh josh i don't know about you and uh we're gonna flash back a little bit i might even throw a, a picture up but if you've never seen the movie enemy mine that's what I was feeling, the old Dennis Quaid yes. movie. Dennis Quaid, Lewis Gossett Jr. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Lewis Gossett, absolutely. Yes. Enemy Mind is what I was feeling when I was reading it. Yeah, so the book starts off, you meet this guy called uh, Duroc, I yes. believe is what it is. And he's an uh, Agorian, I believe. We're going to try yep. to pronounce the names. He's an Agorian. His ship has crashed on a planet, and he's kind of hurt right at first. Uh, but there's something talking to him, and at first I couldn't figure out what it was. And then I realized, and they actually called it, Josh. They called it a hand droid. It was a hand droid. His actual <laughs> hand was talking to him. It healed him. And uh, he starts kind of explaining how he crash-landed on this planet. Um, that He was in a fight with a Zertonian named Sol Solila. I believe we're going to say so, so Leela, I think is how you would say it, Chris. Um, Kirkman, fix it. If we're saying this wrong, let us know, man. Let us know how you pronounce it. Yeah, call me out, Mr. Yeah. Walking Dead. Yes. Call me. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. But uh, yeah, great, great, uh, great read. You're going through it. And then, um, just a lot of great stuff going in there. I love the uh, love the story itself. The artwork is really good. Yeah. Um, Josh, kind of give us the idea of what they were trying to do, how they wound up together. Well, the, the Agorian ship was destroyed. There was no help to fix it. But the Zertonians was where they might be able to fix it. But it, it really it builds on this whole idea of these two rivals. And, and the, the Zertonian makes comments throughout. It's amazing how much your Argonian products fit with our ship and how things work. Until we hit the big reveal and they find a ship on the planet. Right, yeah. right. And that was the shocker. Yes. Because they find this ship and they're like, hey, there's another ship over here. Maybe it works. Well, in the midst of them trying to go and uh, look at it, it starts to stand up. Uh, the standout for me, Chris, 
is I don't know if you could hear it in your head when you were reading it, but they had written the words on there, like the noise words. Yeah. And all I could hear is the old transforming sounds of a transformer. Autobots Absolutely. transform. <laughs> That's a, a quick yes. verse. But, and everybody knows that sound. Yes. Any child of the 80s knows that sound. And it's, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, yeah. that whole transformer sound. So... In walks a transformer into this book, and uh, Josh, I know this book has already gone to a second printing. And uh, one of the cool things about it is uh, that there's a uh, two different covers. There's a variant cover, and if if you guys remember when we were kids, there was a little golden book called the Monster at the end of this book that uh, had Grover in it. Yes. Well, one of the variant covers for the uh, second printing of this book is the Transformer at the end of this book. <laughs> and it looks just like the old little golden book. That's and I, awesome. I probably will pick it up just for nostalgia because yeah. it looks really cool. Just for the great cover. Yeah, so we find out this uh, Transformer's name is Jetfire, and he is from Cybertron. He yes. says he's Cybertronian, so we're not we're not even frowning on Transformers. We're saying this is Transformers. Yep. Here they are in Image Comics, and so he uh, he kind of does a self evaluation and. I think he said what, Josh? A million years? Yeah, he'd been out a million years been, based on his weathering and all. Yeah, he'd been out a million years, which is crazy to think. But uh, uh, you know, the two, uh, the, the Agorian and the Zertonian, go and are, are trying to figure out a way they can link up with him, and so they can get off that planet. But uh, in the midst of all that, he just transforms back into a plane and leaves. So they're stuck there together. I think, Chris, the big reveal for me, the Transformer was great, but we're going to go ahead and, and spoiler territory Should if you haven't read this it? one yet. Yeah, let's go ahead because I, I want to get there. I think Should we need we spoil to. It? There's a great spread. There is yeah. a great spread um, at the end. They're, they're both wearing these helmets and these suits, Yeah, and they take off their helmets, and they realize they look alike. Yeah, yeah. They have these weird little diamond things yeah. or these real uh, shapes in their head. One of them's like um, a green and one of them's blue or yeah. red. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to look again, but they both are exactly the same. Yeah. And that is where we end it. And yeah. um, So I'm looking forward to issue two of Void Rivals. Yeah. Um, should be interesting to see. We'll see if they can actually get off the planet and uh, see how they start working together because it was... It was a really good read. Again, a lot of enemy mind feel yes. to it, but uh, Kirkman's a great writer. He writes great stories. I mean, we know him from Invincible. We know him from Firepower and The Walking Dead. And he's just, you know, to have a chance to kind of play with Transformers and possibly G.I. Joe is really cool. I know that in the end of the book, uh, they talk about the upcoming... Um, I guess they're Trans calling it the Energon uh, universe. Energon, yes, the Energon universe. universe. And we're going to get uh, Duke, a comic book Duke. Um, I believe Joshua Cobra. Williamson is writing that one. And Cobra Commander. And Joshua Cobra Williamson Com is writing Commander. that. And then we're getting Transformers written by... Oh, Michael Warren. Mike is it Daniel Michael Warren? Um, I can't remember. No. D um, Hold on, guys. We'll yeah. give you his name because he did a cover. Yeah. Yes, Daniel Warren Johnson. Daniel, Warren, Daniel Johnson. Warren Johnson. And speaking of Daniel Warren Johnson, his table at Heroes Con this weekend was slammed. You couldn't, you couldn't get up to him for anything. So uh, he's a pretty popular guy. So it'll be interesting to see what he does with Transformers. Not only that, Chris, but they just finished off. Um, I guess IDW is who had GI Joe and Transformers. They just finished off issue three hundred of. G.I. Joe and Larry Hama Hama Larry Hama has been writing it for like 40 years yeah. well they announced that he is coming over to Image Comics and G.I. Joe the real American hero is starting with issue 301 and he's going to continue to write nice it. that's super cool because if anybody deserves to be writing G.I. Joe it should be Larry Hama because he he is Mr. G.I. Joe yeah. in comics so, but on the other front, we also have something going on in our booking section. This Sunday 
at Greenville Convention Center from 10 to 5, we have Greenville Unplugged, uh, run by Unplugged Games. We're super excited for that. Josh, uh, I know there's a ton of uh, vendors coming. Yes, it has grown. Every day they keep adding new people. And I, and I, what I'm hoping is we get a ton of people coming yes. as well to check this thing out. It should be pretty fun. Uh, five dollars to get in the door you can't beat that and uh and five bucks is going to get you a goodie bag when you walk in the door too the guys were telling us yeah so you're you're really paying for nothing and you're getting something, something with it yeah, yeah you get something back in return yeah. so that's really cool and also you know you're just going to have a chance to check out some really great vendors they're going to have tables set up for free play bring some board games uh come with your friends sit around and play games just hang out with us all day um you got nothing better to do. Uh, sports are kind of over right now, but uh, nobody cares about sports. They'd rather be reading comic books and <laughs> things like that. Come talk to us. Come ask us our opinion on what we've been watching recently. We all have seen Spider-Man. We all have seen The Flash. Um, I uh, saw Transformers. So uh, I got some thoughts. I just finished watching Superman and Lois from this week. And they finally introduced Lex, Chris. Nice. nice. It is an amazing episode. Nice. I'll check that out when I get a chance. Also, um, watch the uh, end of the uh, slowly dwindling uh, Gotham Knights. We'll check yes. that out, too. And Watch uh, that earlier, too. And also, guys, today was the day we got Marvel Secret Invasion came out. So you got to check that out as well. And... That is all we've got. We've got some more dates coming up soon. Uh, we're going to be on vacation. We're working on uh, a few things to go around that. And then we've got some shows coming up afterwards. And then we will see what August brings. I think our August is going to be pretty busy. So yes. we should have a lot to do. Keep reading. Keep visiting your local comic shop. Keep picking up some great books. And uh, let us know in the comments uh, what you want us to uh, talk about. And if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and uh, ring the bell notification so you'll know when we get uh, get uh, new videos put up. And Josh, you want right. to take well, us out? Yeah, Chris, this was a number one issue, so what are your thoughts? Would you go for issue two? I would go for issue two. I think so. I think it's going to be a keeper. I think I'm so. I'm excited for it. I think so. I'm yeah. going to keep reading. Yep. And guys, we will see you at the shop.